Today we're going to take a quick look at how Windows 10 Professional Sandbox can help you when you have something that's questionable. If this is your first time here to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. We post computing related videos all the time and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. All right, let's get started. First of all, my wife got an attachment that she wasn't sure about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to save the attachment. I'm going to put it in downloads. I'm going to allow it to keep the same name it does and then I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to search for Sandbox. Actually all I have to really do is type the word Sand and Windows Sandbox is at the top. I left click on that and the Sandbox will open. This is a separate Windows 10 operating system. Anything that happens inside here can be deleted and it won't affect the rest of my machine. Now what I have to do is I have to go to my downloads and I go to that file that I just saved. I'm going to right click and go to copy. Now I click on my sandbox. I'm going to right click and paste. So now the email attachment is in the sandbox. I'm going to double click it to open it. I don't have to worry because anything that happens it's in the sandbox. It says OneDrive and it tells me that someone has sent me a document. Now that particular someone happens to be a customer. I'm going to click where it says View Document. And the first thing that you'll see that happens is that I get a report that the website is not safe. At this point what I really should do is I should just X out and forget it because the website's not safe. But I want to show you what can happen if you ignore that or if I would have happened to click on this file before this warning appeared. In other words, when it first came out, there are people who may have been able to go to the website without this warning and not realize what was happening to them. Here where it says more information, I'm going to click and then it tells us it's a phishing threat. I'm going to click disregard and continue not recommended but I'm going to do it anyway so I can show you what happens. What does happen is it wants me to log in to view the file that my customer sent me. Now if I were to do that here's what would really happen. A hacker would capture my information maybe I wanted to log in with Google. Once I put my username and my password in there and click log in, that information is sent to a hacker and now the hacker gets my information. And that's why it's called a phishing because they're phishing for your information. Once they have your username and password for any of these, they can go into your mail, they can take your contacts, they can spam out of your email, they can change your security questions, change the phone number that's the backup. There's so many things they can do. Now here's the good news. I opened this in Sandbox. All I have to do is go up in the right hand corner to close Sandbox. You can see it gives me a warning. Once I close it, all of the content will be discarded and permanently lost. Well, that's exactly what we want. I'm going to say OK. So now I'll be able to tell my wife, just delete that email that had the attachment, and then we'll notify our customer that something happened that they're sending out bad attachments. I know this customer. I'm sure they're not doing it on purpose. There's just a real quick view of how and why you might want to use Windows 10 Pro Sandbox. That's it for this video. Again, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell so you get notifications. Thanks so much.